Hi, I'm Steve from Works, and today I want to talk to you about zone doubling on an NX or Reliance alarm system. Out of the box, um, say something like an R128 panel, it only actually has eight zones available to you. You have to actually go in and turn on zone doubling to get the extra zones. And it uses a number of uh, resistors to get that. So when you buy the panel, you actually get a bunch of resistors in there. If you fit the 3.3K resistors um, to the panel, you'll get eight zones. You can wire zones in with using 3.3K resistors. If you use the um, zone doubling resistors, you get two lots of resistors. You get a 3.74 and you get a, a 6.98 resistor. So what happens is the 3.74 resistor represents zones one to eight. So that'll give you the first eight zones. And the um, 6.98 will give you zones um, nine to 16, the zone doubling zones. You have to actually go into programming and actually turn on um, zone doubling. Um, there's a previous video which shows you how to do some programming. So I suggest if you haven't seen it, go back and have a look at that to see how you get into programming. So what you do is if you're programming, um, turning it on, that feature to use zones nine to 16 um, on say a, a, an R128 panel, um, you'd simply go into program mode, you go to device zero, um, and then you go to feature 22, and you go down to segment five, and you turn on number two. Um, once you exit back out, you'll then notice that then zones nine to 16 will be flashing on your keypad. Um, so you have to get the resistors right. So let's kind of go through, have a look at how the resistors work. Okay, so we're ready to explain a bit more. So what I've done here is I've taken out my 3.3Ks out of zones one and two just to free them up. And I've also gone into programming and I've actually turned on zone doubling in the programming, which now is giving me exactly what I'd expect on the keypad. I've got zones one and two um, in the alarm and I've got zones nine to 16 flashing as well. So that's what I'd expect to happen with that, um, the, you know, with that programming um, change in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put into zone one, I'm gonna put in uh, one of the um, 3.74s resistors in there and I'm also going to put in a the the 6.98 resistor as well so I'll put that in there so you can actually see this is actually going in parallel so both zones are both zones are wired into the same set of terminals so zone one doubles up as zone one and zone nine when it's zone doubling so now with that in there now I've got zone one is sealed and I probably just need to put a bit more pressure on that one and then we'll get zone nine sealed. So one and nine are actually now working off this, this um, two resistors. So it's quite a simple system. Um, so basically, um, one of the advantages of this obviously too is if you have a, um, say a, a single detector run, four core run going out to a detector somewhere and you've got two detectors hooked up on it, you can actually put a different value resistor in each detector and actually report them as different zones, which is better for fault finding and just better for reliability. So remember again, the 3.74 resistors, and we'll have all the details um, in the video, are the lower zones, that's zones one to eight, and the 6.98 resistors are zones um, nine to 16. Um, this is how zone doubling works in a kind of simple, quick little video. Um, hope this has been useful. Um, thanks for watching.